Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Oh my God. Guys, I have been slacking so much. I have so many items that I have, so many products that I've purchased um, over the last couple of months that I haven't done reviews on that I haven't even touched yet. It's bad, okay? The addiction is real. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. And if you're old to my channel, hey girl, what's up? Oh my God. This is so weird because I haven't recorded in a while. The last video I did was of hair color and I was like a busted so I wasn't in that video. But today's video is something that I wanted to do because I've bought so many drugstore foundations over the past few months to test out and try which I need to start uploading my thoughts and my reviews on those uh, foundations for you guys and also some concealers. And today I am going to be battling two Maybelline concealers. I'm gonna be battling the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color uh, Neutralizer. This is like one of my go-to favorites. I have really bad under eye circles for those of you that are new to my channel. And the neutralizing color I love. I had purchased another shade and I believe it was light and I didn't care for it. I didn't, it didn't do anything for my under eye circles. Personally, um, I didn't like it. So I didn't really like the Instant Age Rewind at all until I discovered neutralizing. The neutralizer color, it's awesome. Um, also, I have the Maybelline Fit Me. And I have this in the color Sand Sable. So I've already primed my face i put foundation on my face you guys let's get into the battle of these two concealers right now you guys y'all already know about this one because this is totally blown up on youtube and just this is like a fan favorite right now but i haven't heard a lot about the maybelline fit me how does it um work up against the instant age rewind you know what i mean let's go ahead and find out so i'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind on this eye, and I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me on this eye. They are not the same shade. As you can see, this one's a tad bit darker. Um, just by a touch, it's not that much darker, so if you see a shade difference, that's what it is. So let's go. Usually, I... Hit my under eye like that everybody's a little different but i really try to get my trouble zone you guys so you guys can see and i'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my beauty blender where the hell is my beauty blender oh, let me go get it i'll be right back okay i'm back this is my little fake beauty blender that i got from marshall's i have a real beauty blender I actually have two real beauty blenders that i haven't even opened up yet you guys like I don't want to get them dirty. I'm so OCD. Like, I don't know about you guys, but am I the only person that keeps all her palettes in the boxes? Like, I use my palettes and I put them back in the box. I don't know, you guys. I've already washed this off, so it's clean. I'm going to use this end for this eye, and I'll use the back. Or maybe I'll use, like, the other side for this eye. So, let's go. And I love this product because the Maybelline Fit Me, like... It just blends out so well like it's already been like 30 minutes since I did my foundation this is a been washed after that I went and walked my dog and it is hot outside you guys oh my goodness the weather has been like crazy here in Florida if it's not raining it's hot and muggy like oh I don't like Florida I don't know the weather is just too much for me it's too hot. You don't get a winter here. And I really like to blend and blend and really get this product in my skin. And I don't notice a lot of creasing, but then again, once I do my concealer, I set right after. And because I have really dry under eyes, I don't set with my beauty blender. I was um, using the Laura Mercier setting powder and I was dipping my um, beauty blender into the product and then really packing it on. 
because I've seen it on YouTube <laughs> and it doesn't work for me. Like it really, really dries my under eye. I could just feel like how dehydrated my under eyes were. So I stopped doing that and I have been using um, the Real Technique setting brush instead and like lightly like dusting it over, tapping it. Oh, it still has setting powder on it, you guys. Setting powder on, and then like setting underneath like that lightly. And it does a wonderful job and it just sets my under eyes and it doesn't um, crease up or anything. And it doesn't make me feel dry either because I ain't about that life, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go ahead and try the Maybelline Fit Me on the other eye. I really think this looks great. You can already see the difference um, on both eyes and how much it's done. And that's why I love it. It just gives you that refreshed, awoken, um, I'm healthy. <laughs> I've gotten some sleep, which I haven't, appearance. So let's go ahead and get the Maybelline Fit Me on this eye. And as you can see, there is a doe foot applicator on this one as opposed to the Instant Age Rewind. really want to try that tart shape tape like I've heard so many good things about it and I have yet to um, try it because I've been buying so many other things and my husband's like how much makeup do you need Jenny like you don't need any more you have enough I'm like you don't understand the addiction is real like I love makeup so much I'm not only a makeup collector but I just love makeup you guys I've been playing with makeup since I was like 12 12 or 13, like my mom was really cool. She let me um, wear makeup and use makeup and play around with it so much. And um, just over the last couple of years, I've like really fallen in love with it again. I've always loved makeup, but I just have started playing around with it more. And I wanna like come out of my comfort zone with my eyeshadows and start doing like some more fun looks. And that's why I bought um, the two Jean-Michel Basquiat um, Urban Decay palettes. Um, I bought the colorful one and I bought the neutral one. And I still have yet to use them, you guys. And I wish I would have waited because now they're on sale. So you can see how this um, blended out really beautifully. It's very nice and creamy. It's not drying. It doesn't feel dry at all. And it just blended out seamlessly. And you can see... They kind of look the same to me, um, but I feel like this side is just much more smoother um, in appearance, and I feel like I can see a little something right there, but overall, they look pretty much identical. I just think that the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind looks a little bit more brighter because that color was a little lighter. Um, here so what do you guys think which side do you like better do you like the Maybelline instant age rewind or the Maybelline fit me side they both look overall let me get up close so you guys can see this is there's a little creasing with this one but it's not too bad I may just need to dab it out a little bit more with my beauty blender so what do you guys think? They look very similar. I need to figure out. I will write um, down in, down below what the prices are. I should have looked that up earlier. But if you're looking for a really good concealer, these are really good concealers. I'm really overall impressed with how they both um, look against one another. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes. I don't really see much of a difference, to be honest. I just feel like this is a little bit more brighter because that color was lighter, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. If you guys like these kind of videos where I'm battling different products up against each other, like the video and tell me because um, that's the only way that I don't know um, to keep creating videos like this but I like watching videos um I love dupe videos like dupe videos and any way that I can save money even though I like my high-end products I love a good steal I love a good bargain I love to find products that are cheaper and more affordable because I'm all about saving that money you know what I'm saying honey so let me go ahead and set my under eye but for right now y'all what do you guys think
vote down below you guys actually i'll put it up here i'll put it up here in the little dots i think you can click on it and i'll have it so you guys can vote maybelline fit me or maybelline instant age rewind so i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye and see what that does it's i'm gonna set it with the same product on both eyes the um La Mercier translucent setting powder. So I think once I set it, they'll both look the same. They look, it looks the same once I set it. I mean, they look, it looks identical. It looks like I use the same product on both sides. So I don't know. Is it just me? Do you guys see something else? I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down below. Um, I really enjoy doing these types of videos. I'm sorry that I don't upload enough. But to be honest, I get into these little ruts where I just don't feel like doing videos and I don't really feel like I see um, the fruit of my effort I guess I enjoy doing the videos but sometimes I feel like I don't get back what I put in and if you guys are YouTube creators um, maybe you guys might feel the same but um, I still it doesn't stop me from not creating I still love doing YouTube I'm not gonna stop it but I don't know just sometimes I feel that way so there it is you guys I feel like it looks exactly the same on both sides um, so I think I'm gonna start using my Maybelline fit me more often I do see over here where there's a little bit more creasing under this eye as opposed to the Maybelline instant age rewind so I do notice that right away after setting my eyes I didn't let it set for five or ten minutes um, I didn't bake that long but I don't do all that sometimes I'm in a rush most of the time when I'm getting ready I'm in a rush so I don't bake I just put it on set it and then pat it in and go out the door you guys so I hope you guys like the video please comment down below and tell me what you thought and have a great day you guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already bye